Guys, we're gonna be making a seafood paella on my pit barrel cooker coming. I'm CJ. If you're first time here, thank you for visiting. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. So today we are going to be making a seafood paella. I'm gonna do it on my pit barrel cooker. So we're gonna get plenty of heat from the bottom of the pit barrel. Gonna let it simmer underneath that paella pan. The paella pan pretty much is the circumference of the pit barrel. So it's gonna get a lot of nice heat underneath it. We're gonna get a little bit of smoke in there. We got some hickory wood. Hopefully the smoke just kind of penetrates over the top. I think it's gonna be good. I, I wanted to try it. We got this. All right, guys, stick around. Start off with a little nice olive oil, and then we're gonna start with the chorizo. Oops, a little pepper fell in there. Probably could stand to get a little hotter. So we're just gonna let this kind of come up the temperature in here, and then we'll start adding the other ingredients. All right guys, hopefully I can keep the sound going. I think my battery's done on my microphone. So we got the chorizo in there already. It's cooking up real nice. Got a nice lot of heat in there, so we're gonna throw the peppers in there. Got some onions. A little more peppers. I'm gonna saute these all through. And I got a little garlic here. I'm just gonna add a little bit in there. All right, so we're gonna get this mixed around, and get it nice and uh, sauteed up in there. All right, guys. So my microphone died on me. So you might have to struggle to hear a little bit. But we got some goodness going on right here. Look at all that. We're the onions and the peppers are sauteing nice. The heat, there's plenty of heat coming from the bottom. It's looking good, looking good. All right, so now we're gonna get the rice in there. Toast up the rice before we add the liquids to it. So this uh, this rice is the poor man's version for uh, saffron rice. Get that nice and toasty in there. It already has the saffron seasoning. I love this rice to do paella with. You don't have to, you could use Oreo rice like how it traditionally does. But this is the way I roll. It's a little cheaper, a little easier, and it tastes delicious. I've done this paella a thousand times using this rice, and uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. We're gonna put a little smoked paprika in there. And we got my own little seasoning blend. I'll leave that below. Don't need to over season. There's plenty of flavors going on in here. Gonna be delish us. All right, guys, we got this nice and toasty through. Oils are in the rice. Toasty goodness. All the flavors melding real nice. Now it's time to add our liquid. So we got a little menage a trois wine. We're gonna add about a cup or so in there. That looks about a cup. I gotta try it, of course. Uh, it's a good wine. All right. And we're gonna add a few cups of chicken stock. It's about right. Let's get this mixed around a little bit. All right, now it's just gonna heat through. Rice is gonna absorb the liquid. Some of it's going to 
evaporate off. Be good. Once we get it night almost done, we'll add the seafood to it. We'll call it a day. Come on back. Uh, soaked in. We're starting to build that so crate, that coveted crispy rice on the bottom. So now we're gonna add in our seafood. So we have some crab meat right here from the claw. So I'm gonna just sporadically put some around this and then mix it in. All right, so we got a crab meat going in. Add that good flavor in there. Now we're gonna add our shrimps and our lobsters in there. We're gonna bury these shrimp in here and try to get it uniform wise. Because once we put them in, we're not gonna mess with them anymore. They're gonna cook through while this finishes up, okay? So we're gonna try to put it in the pattern that we want it finished in. So I'm gonna keep putting these in, come on back. All right, we're gonna put our lobster tails in there. Now you guys remember, I've seasoned all these really, really well. Let them sit in the fridge, kind of marinate in there a little bit. The nice lobster tails are gonna cook in the shell, but you saw me release the meat from the shell. We had three lobster tails, so we got six halves. It's gonna look beautiful when it gets uh, cooked through. Such good flavors going on. Looks good to me, what do you guys think? All right, all right guys, we're done with this thing. Now it's just time to add a little uh, greenery to it. We got a little green onion here. This is looking spectacular. I'm so excited to delve into this thing. All right, get a little parsley, a little more greenery. Oh, that looks beautiful, guys. All right, guys, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and take a picture for the thumbnail, and then we're gonna dig into this thing, so come on back. It's done, thumbnail's taken. We're losing light out here, but we're going ahead and give this one a shot. I'm gonna dig into this thing. Maddie, come down here and you can see some of this. We're gonna dig a little deeper here. <laughs> that was a little hot. You can see the coveted socrate, the toasted rice on the bottom. So that's gonna be the best bite right there. You gotta dig at it a little bit. You see a little bit of the crab in there. So I'm gonna take this bite real quick. I'm gonna burn my face off. <laughs> Do you relax? Do you believe this stuff? Uh. Oh, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna dig out one of these shrimps. It's a little hot. <laughs> oh man, they're hot, guys. There's about half a bottle of wine left, so we might as well go ahead and drink it while we eat this. Cheers. Class, class, class. All right, guys, that's it. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for stopping by.